What's good, YouTube? This is Gun Rob76 and Popcorn976. And we are finally in high definition. Yeah. And in this video, we're going to be opening up an Articuno blister pack that comes with an Articuno pen and three TCG booster packs. We're going to get a Steam Sage, Breakthrough, and a Primal Clash. Okay, guys, I really need to tell y'all something. I had to go 50 minutes away to get this thing. I had went to three Walmarts in my area, and they had the other two, but didn't have Articuno. He had to go all the way to Little Rock at Toys R Us just to find this, because we don't have a Toys R Us, we don't have a mall, we don't have anything near us except for a little Walmart Super Center. We are in the middle of bum crap nowhere. I can't say what I want to say because it's kid oriented. Yeah. But anyways, but I'm gonna kind of take this off camera for just a sec here. I'm gonna show the back of this though. You can kind of read that right there. Power up your Pokemon TCG collection with three booster packs and show your Pokemon pride with one of three awesome Pokemon collector pins. Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Okay, guys, keep in mind that Articuno is one of my top five favorite Pokemon. If y'all seen our top five list, our top ten list of Pokemon, y'all will understand that. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and just take this off for a second just to get the stuff out. And while we're doing that, I'm going to let it go. Alright guys, and we are back, and uh, let's show this pin off a little bit, it's the Articuno pin that they show off. Alrighty guys, I just got a brag, I got a brag, I got a brag, this is one of my favorite all time pins, oh my gosh, popcorn kind of nerding out, just saying. And because we are great cards, we actually show the back of these things, very, very good quality. Go get you about 30 of these minimum. Golly, and I love the high definition, you can just see how gorgeous it looks now. We are kind of out of date, sorry. We're, about, we're a couple of rednecks from the middle of nowhere. Alright, and as he was talking about earlier, we got Steam Siege, we have Primal Clash, and we have Breakthrough. We're going to go ahead and start off with the Steam Siege. We're kind of going to do our least favorite to our favorite. And if y'all are enjoying our videos, y'all be sure that y'all are giving us a like and a share and subscribe to our channel. We are trying to post content weekly from now on. That's Popcorn is trying to get into this. He's having no good luck. Yeah, we kind of uh, missed our last deadline. Uh, we had a problem. I forgot to add the outro to the video, and I uploaded it and then took it down, uh, like, literally within minutes of each other. So for y'all who are subscribed to our channel and y'all following us pretty straight, I'll just keep it here. Um, the reason I haven't been Pokemon, I haven't, haven't been posting our Pokemon question of the day because I'm hearing negative things about Twitter maybe going down. And that kind of just worries me. The last couple of times I've had posted the Pokemon question today, I've not got a lot of feedback like I have in the past. I plan on maybe going to, to Instagram with that. So y'all just stay tuned on that. I'll figure something out. All right, give it just a minute to adjust. There we go. You guys can see it all now. We're going to start out with a Nidorino. Anorith? I don't know how to say that. Yeah, that's an Anorith. Looks creepy. I'd hate to run that thing in the middle of the woods. Dude, Monferno. I was just talking about these monkeys too, like right before we recorded. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag boots. <laughs> Marie. Okay, y'all. If y'all turned in the last video, y'all know Boots made his debut. He is the pink monkey with the red boots off of Door to Explore. We got him right here on Great Car. <laughs> Alright, guys, look at this clink right here. Uh, I, I like the artwork they're going for. It's different, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, C dot. I used to play that. Ponyard. Drifloon. Drifloon. Versus a Tangrowth. And it is a uncommon. And, and a Yon Mega. Not good. Yon Mega is terrible. Popcorn, do you remember in uh in Gold and Silver in it in a uh, Crystal when you actually ran into that thing, it had like a five percent encounter rate in that one patch right there by the uh I guess what they call the Safari Zone. Yep. I remember that one. I thought that was like the rarest thing I've ever seen. That and the Sudo Wudo. Sudo Wudo is actually like, I don't know, I, I think it's more hyped because it was in the anime with Brock and all that. Well, Bonsly was until it evolved into Sudo Wudo. But uh, I think it became more hyped because of the anime. But uh, Sudo Wudo is still a pretty cool Pokemon just because like it was one of the first Pokemon you could really like mess with that wasn't a legendary like it, it blocked your path until you got the spray bottle i just think it's cool because it's a tree that had fingers but ah uh. congress <laughs> spirit link lanoon hey man if you're true it's fingers man you're an automatic g in our my book <laughs> <laughs> vibrava oh back to back mudkip 
I love the artwork on that mud kit. If y'all remember some of our older videos, we actually opened up like this blister pad that had the mud kit Trico and Torchic, and it was on holographic, and that thing was just so amazing. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. So rock. I remember enough fan was being pain in the ass to beat. Illumise. I think that's one of the most forgettable Pokemon, Illumise. Bolumbi. Okay, hold on, Parker. Do you know what that thing reminds me of? What? Have you ever played Donkey Kong 64? Yes, I have. There, I think it's like in the set where you get the seventh key, you had to chase this bunny. And that is the most difficult thing to do. <laughs> and it looks like that thing. And when you actually catch it, you actually grab it up by its ears. For all you OG 64 fans back in the day that played using Donkey Kong 64, you know what I'm talking about. Wow, bringing it back to the past. We got a Combuskin. And that is a uncom nah, not a rare, but still, it's awesome artwork on it. What's it have? Quick attack, which does 20 damage. Flip a coin if it heads at this one. So you actually have a chance of doing 40 damage just with one energy card. And Spiral Kick does 30. 80 uh, for mid level. Starting out in the mid level deck, that would be like a start mid level deck. I would add that combustion into my deck. And the final card in it is that a electric. Electric. Electric, and it is a. Uh, Ancient Rules card. Remember I was having a hard time? Yeah, we both had a hard time that one day, and we could not remember the the type of card it was. We both had so many problems with it. Alrighty, well. Well, guys, these, out of the two, two of the three packs we got out of this blister pack, it's not been too good so far. But hopefully we can uh, pull a break card out of the breakthrough pack. That or at least an EX. We've been an EX draw here lately, ain't we? Yeah, we have not had an EX in some time. Wait, we pulled a break in one of our videos. We just haven't pulled the X's out. Well, no, we got the thun the what was it? Was it Thunderous or Tornadoes EX? That yeah, one video. Yeah, that was like our, our comeback video. Yeah, that was a while ago too. One like each goes one prayer for an EX. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, All right guys. let's go ahead and finish up this pack strong. Quilladen, that is that that is some artwork right there. Sand slash. What do you think about the Hollow Hot forms? It's the Sand Slash popcorn. We haven't been talking a lot about the next. Uh, the Alolan stuff. Sand Slash, I like it. I think they just kind of took the Alolan Nine Tails and just kind of copied it, and it was like, yeah, we'll, we'll make something else nice too. I, I think they could have done something better with it. Primlup. Primlup. Yeah, that's a little penguin from. What's the penguin's name? It's a. Piplup, Primlup, Piplup. and Empoleon. Empoleon. Yeah, it was kind of more the weaker water starters, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, Empoleon was pretty good being part steel, but it had too many different weaknesses. Okay, I want to rank on this a little bit. Okay, Ice Beam does 30 damage, takes a water energy and colorless energy. Flip a coin and if it heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is not paralyzed. Where does Ice Beam make your opponent paralyzed? That is just... Well, it's not, it's not like the games or anything. They don't have a um, frozen uh, counter on there. One lock equals one for <laughs> your <four, four> counters. <laughs> All right, guys, we got a Zorua. I remember back in black and white when I actually thought Zorua was a legendary just because it came in a well, mystery event. Oh, snap, we done got another one of the monkeys. It's Pampor. All right. Vanilla. Not the most worthless Pokemon of all time. Besides Magic Card. Pansage. Oh, snap, we done got the other monkey. We need the Pansage. The reverse is a Haxorus Rare. Oh, and it's a rever and it's a reverse hollow rare. And it's got three attacks, I just realized. Let's not see. many not many Pokemon have three attacks. Dude, on their that card. thing does hundred and thirty damage for fighting a steel. My Hold on, gosh. hold on, guys, 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 let's just admire this. Not many cards you see have three attacks on the card. The only card card I know is that uh what was it, that Zygarde from the uh, Legendary Collection? Yeah. Okay. How often do you get three attacks on a card? That's awesome. And the last card in this pack is <laughs> Mega Glalie EX Full, full Art. art. How amazing. This is hype right now, guys. We finally pulled an EX after our EX draft. And it's a mega. All right, guys. As far as the blister pack is concerned, this is probably above average pulls. We finally pulled an amazing pack. We Not only did we get the... Let me find it first. We're losing cards here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Not only did we get the rare... Move your hand. I gotcha, I gotcha. Not only did we get the rare reverse hollow Haxorus, we got the Mega Glalie EX. 
Look how awesome those look together. How many of them stupid spearlings have we pulled of that thing out of the, out of the breakthrough sets that we've opened? Uh, at least five or six. We've, we've been finally, finally oh, got feel it. that. Feel that gun, Rob. It's textured. Oh, yeah. They, they, if you noticed, if you want to, on the Full Art Mega EX cards, they have like this texture. Like if you remember when we pulled that Mega Charge RDX out of Generations, it's about the same way. But anyways, guys. We want to thank you so much for tuning into this week's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Call at you boys. I'm Gun Rob 76 and I'm Popcorn976. We'll see you next video. Peace out. Hashtag Matt